Hi everyone. Uh, uh, today we're going to be uh, talking about skylight. I have this uh, skylight. We're located in uh, about a mile border of uh, Massachusetts and New Hampshire in the Merrimack Valley. And um, today's about uh, 70 degree, slightly overcast. It's a good day to work on a roof, but uh, still a little bit hot. But anyhow, I have this uh, skylight I've been trying to fix for the past couple years. And um, at first I thought, well, just nail holes that um, water is seeping through the, to the ceiling. But now when I first bought the house, this is what I have. It didn't leak at all, okay? At one time it had a slight leak, so I just spray some uh, Seal Flex, you know those liquid rubber spray? And it stopped, but it came right back um, after a couple months. Now this one, apparently uh, the previous owner put some uh, those plywood tape, waterproof plywood tape. It worked pretty well, but when we, ha when we have heavy rain, we tend to have stain on the roof. It looks like they tried to fix the roof before. That's why this is a different color. Uh, they didn't get a good color match. But anyway, I'm gonna talk about what I did today. So after I opened everything up, which took me a while because that they put uh, layers and layers of um, those tar, which um, it's very hectic to get those out. But anyway, so I got to the flashing the base of the skylight okay this is the flashing the edge flashing now the way how roof works is that the top always overlap the lower one so the water travels on top and it drops on the second one just kind of like um, stairs okay fish scales everything go down this direction so our goal is to have top going to the bottom now what happened is they didn't remove the old roofing the old roofing material and they, they kind of just simply uh, shingle over the existing and they didn't do any uh, upgrade or repair to the old flashing as you can see these are uh, copper flashing from the skylight so we have a lip here what they really need to do is either put some kind of the seal flex to seal it or uh, rubberized tar to get this gap sealed and uh, nailed it down or have some kind of snow and ice uh, rubber membrane so they, they do have a uh, rubber membrane here to uh, seal the old roof this is a snow and ice rubber membrane with the very sticky stuff I brought some but I don't have it here but anyway what I'm gonna do now is um put some tar as much tar as I can underneath here and later when the tar cures I'm gonna put the rubber membrane as high as possible in here but as you can see all this gunk I'm afraid that the rubber thing is not gonna stick very tight so I need to clean out as much as possible for this um, all this crushed rocks maybe should I should go up even more because this is the most critical area because once the water goes underneath here no matter how you patch it the water is going to go inside because it's going to trail around the rim and eventually work its way into the ceiling underneath so this area i'm not so concerned because water head down this way so it looks like i have to go up another step <clears throat> in order to have a better uh, overlapping so as you can see they got layers of um old stuff here which is in pretty bad shape so I'm gonna work rip out more layers and then put tar on the transition and later overlap with the rubber membrane and hopefully this will stop the leak and later I'll get the uh, I'll get a matching uh, cap sheet the, not a cap sheet but the shingle sheets uh, to match the existing roof apparently all these penetrations have some sort of um, moisture uh, penetration okay it's not much but water do go in 
So that's all. Okay, bye.